In this demonstration of uh, NSS, I'm going to be showing you how to, you can use it to uh, deploy uh, an agent. We're going to be using an RPA tool. Uh, what is an RPA tool? It's a tool that's based on robotic process automation. Uh, in this case, we're going to be using the blue uh, prism tool, and we're going to be demonstrating how that can deploy it to uh, a target server. Um, there's a list of prerequisites there. Um, I'll let you pause the video uh, and you can just view those, but they're all prerequisites in order to use the system. Okay, so let's go into NSS itself. Uh, you can see we've got uh, an agent restore uh, request, uh, agent deploy request. Um, we've already pre filled that out with some information that's going to be required in order to deploy the agent onto the target machine. Uh, we're just going to add in the password and then we're going to uh, submit the request. Uh, once we've submitted the request, we're feeding it into the NSS fulfillment, a couple of refreshes, and uh, we can see now that that request has now been passed over to the uh, Blue Prism tool. Uh, in the Blue Prism tool, then, we've got a couple of areas. First of all, within this control area, we can see that the uh, request has actually been sent. Uh, and then if we go and open up uh, the actual uh, process itself, uh, this is what's going to run through. It's going to go and pick up uh, that request and uh, process all the steps that we need to do to uh, deploy the agent. Okay, so this might be left uh, running all the time. So as requests are going through, uh, it'll just pick them up. Uh, but what we're going to do is just to manually run it so we can see it stepping through all the actions. Uh, the first actions are really just to import the request uh, and pull all the attributes into uh, Blue Prism. Uh, next, it's going to go and uh, looking at using the uh, information that we put in the request, it's going to go and open up a machine. Uh, in this case, it's opened up a, a Windows server. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to check on here uh, to see uh, whether we uh, can find the host name of this particular server. In the request, we put in the IP address. Uh, we need the uh, host server name uh, to uh, deploy a Veritas agent. Uh, we find that just by uh, instructing the agent to go through and uh, run some commands. We'll copy and paste that. Uh, the uh, Blue Prism Automation will then strip away everything just to leave the uh, host name of uh, BCB. Okay, so the next step uh, after we've done that is uh, we're going to uh, now uh, just uh, launch the uh, folder that contains the agent on the host uh, machine. And we're going to copy that onto uh, the uh, target machine. So simple copy and paste. Uh, in this case, uh, we've, I've speeded it up a little bit uh, just so that we can uh, uh, quickly see the uh, files being deployed. Uh, once those have uh, been deployed, we can then click on to uh, the uh, next step. Uh, so here, what we're going to do is we're going to now uh, look and see where the uh, silent install script is. Uh, we're going to validate that. We're also going to populate it uh, with some of the uh, details uh, that we've uh, picked up. So things like the uh, username uh, and uh, things like the uh, machine name uh, as well. Uh, so first of all, we're going to validate that. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, run that uh, script uh, once we've uh, satisfied that uh, the validation process has occurred. Just wait for that to uh, push through. Okay, so we're now going to go and uh, run the uh, silent script. You'll see that typing on the screen uh, shortly. Uh, we've put all the details uh, into the script in the, in the background. Uh, so we're now running the, uh, the silent install, so it pops up with a dialog box. Uh, that's now going to, uh, we're going to give it 90 seconds to, uh, to go through and install that. Um, again, I've actually speeded this up, uh, so uh, we've uh, 
cut short the uh, the process. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to validate that we've actually installed uh, the uh, the files. Uh, so what we can do now is to go and check uh, the uh, directory and just check that we now have a a Veritas directory. Obviously, in uh, production, you could uh, expand on this uh, as well. So we're just going to go back onto that uh, original uh, program files directory. We can see now there's a Veritas uh, section in there. So we validated that. So what we're going to do now is to go back into uh, the uh, request. Uh, Blue Prism would have uh, communicated to um, the uh, NSS, the fact that this uh, process is now completed. So if we just do a quick refresh, uh, we can see up here the uh, status of uh, process completed. And that completes the, the uh, demonstration.